Okay, so we've seen that there are a few different kinds of collisions, and what I would like to do now is just summarize the possibilities, including what we've seen so far, and also see if that is all of the possibilities. Okay, so the easiest way to compare the collisions is in the center of mass frame. Okay, so in that frame, beforehand, every collision is going to look like the following. We're always going to have two particles that are moving directly towards each other. Um, they don't have to be the same size, so the bigger one could be moving slower, um, and the smaller one moving faster, but they'll always be moving towards each other so that the total momentum is zero. Okay, well, one possibility is after the collision, they could just stick together. Well, in the center of mass frame, if they stick together, then that's going to look like this. They just stop. Okay, they can't be moving in the center of mass frame. The total momentum is zero. So this is what a totally inelastic collision looks like in the center of mass frame. They just stick together. That's not the only possibility. Um, they could be moving apart, but slower than what they were initially doing. Okay, so we call this a partially inelastic collision. Um, or sometimes just inelastic. Um, and the speeds in that center mass frame are less than what they started with. Um, or we could have what we call a perfectly elastic collision where the velocity is just reversed. So this is a totally, perfectly, completely elastic collision. Okay. Well, if we wanted to consider all of the possibilities, there's another possible option. Maybe they're going faster afterwards. Okay, we don't normally expect that to be the case, but there's no reason why that couldn't happen sometimes. Um, and we call this an explosive collision. Okay, so for obvious reasons, if they explode apart, then um, they can be going faster afterwards. Um, I've also heard the, the term super elastic. So that is also sometimes used. Um, those are less common. Most of the collisions are either going to be um, elastic or inelastic or totally inelastic, um, but those are all possibilities. Um, in all of the cases, momentum is conserved. We can say the momentum before equals the momentum after, um, but otherwise the strategies kind of vary. So um, in a partially inelastic collision, we need to just be told what one of the final velocities is. Um, in a totally inelastic collision, we can just solve for the final velocity. Um, and in a totally elastic collision, we had to um, go through the procedure where we convert to the center of mass frame, reverse the velocities, and then convert back.